And I know they really wish we would uh, fall Till uh, we fall uh, on the big bad wolf uh, is a full moon yo what's going on everybody welcome back to my channel today's video is actually going to be an armor showcase i had another video planned out but i actually got this armor set finally i've been working on this for about two weeks i'm not even joking it's ridiculous how long it took me to get this armor set anyways if you guys want to know what it is it is i believe the Ginsheim knight this is the this is how it looks with no shaders on i didn't have time to actually go through the shaders so we're going to pretty much go through the shaders together and i'm going to go through the ones that i pretty much know are going to look nice from other things i don't know if it actually will look nice but I did write down a couple of them because I was kind of looking at like 3 or 4 or 5 or 12, I think. I don't remember. I looked at like a lot of shaders and I was just like, you know what? I don't want to uh, spend a lot of time on screenshotting and stuff like that. So pretty much I'm just going to go through the shaders with you in a like after I'm done with all this stuff, you know. So this armor set is actually one of the only armor sets in the game that is a recovery set, which is really good for hunters if you don't want to be mobile 100% because you guys know that being mobile does not help in multiplayer. So, I mean, I like this helmet a lot. It reminds me of a meal from uh, Halo Reach. If anyone played that game, you know, tell me that in the comments below. It does remind me of a meal a lot. It pretty much looks like his helmet when you didn't buy the one with the um, skull on it. So that's really cool. It kind of like has a nostalgic feel to it. I really like its, um, you know, like layout and stuff like that. The only problem I might have with this armor set is personally, I don't really like the cape too much and not based on like the back of it it's mostly the front how it has like this transparency on the front that's the only weird thing I don't like about it but other than that it looks pretty cool so I mean these are the arms right here unless you guys see it's got like some mesh netting and then it looks kind of like a corkscrew or like a screwdriver kind of thing not a screwdriver but like a regular screw um, and then you have these shields on it or like the you know um, your basic armor plating and stuff like that I can't make any jokes about this because I don't know what these look like besides the fact that they are like pretty much you know 100% um, whatever they, they just look like armor pieces they don't look like anything so I can't make any jokes out of this besides the netting looks like spider-man's netting on his suit so I guess if you guys wanted to you could make spider-man cosplay I guess I don't know if you guys could pull it off I'm not saying you guys can't I'm just saying it might be really hard to do that I do like this chest piece a lot it's very very different it is the only one that I have seen that has these straps in the front like this with a knife hanging off the edge it is kind of chunky and bulkier it does not really make your character look slimmed out at all for the hunters and then you guys can see down here you got your goss emo looking belt and stuff like that I don't know <laughs> I like to mess around with these armor sets and stuff and um you guys can change out the um as you guys know it's all recovery you can just change out the resilience for more recovery i'm actually going to do that so we can see at the end of it how it looks after we've changed it all and these are the legs and i don't know how i feel about this either because it's such a different color it's so much lighter than the other parts of the armor set but i mean for the most part i like it and you look buff af down here look at you got like huge old thigh muscles on your legs like huge nice little knee pads your shin guards and then you have the original like errant knight looking um you know what are these called boots i guess your yeah, boots um and then i guess like yeah i mean pretty much i do like it it's just this part that kind of throws me off as well like the cape top part with the transparency and then the the um weird what are, i don't even know what this is paneling i guess so let's actually see what we can change over here so change mobility to resilience so there you go so we're downing our mobility as much as we possibly can and we're at four four and six i was gonna say 11 i don't know where the heck the 11 came from in my head but um you guys can also change that with things like this where you can get more recovery if you wanted to and then it has a logo i don't know what this logo is on the back i'm gonna guess it has something to do with io but i mean it looks really cool and i just noticed this this arm does not have a shoulder or a, um like a forearm kind of thing a forearm pad i did not notice that that's really cool it's an it's different because it's not you know symmetrical it's kind of an asymmetric armor set for the arms and stuff like that so i mean this armor set looks really cool i like it a lot so we're gonna do a spin around and then we are going to do so here's the full armor set right here then we are going to move into the shaders so let's go ahead and just start that now if you guys don't know you guys can press the dialogue pad or dialogue not dialogue directional pad or a directional um button and it will i wish i could show you my controller but it will go up and down if you just press the directional you know way you want to go so first one we're going to look at is the gift of the nine and i actually like this one a lot kind of reminds me of the monochromatic so you guys can see it just pretty much whitens out your guy and then i don't know why you can even see the preview on the meta multi-tool because you can't even get anything on the meta multi-tool but i mean i like this one a lot it looks really cool it's just really basic though so i mean that's kind of like one thing where i don't know if i'm like super into that because of how basic it is next we're going to look at xeno silver so this is how it's going to look if it loads 
So I like this one because it's super shiny blue. I do wish this part was also blue right here. The um, like the padding that I said I don't really like because it doesn't ever really stick with the patterns, I guess. It kind of was always different. I do like how the cape is white, though. That's kind of cool. And I really feel like if you guys don't want to do a full set, next we're going to look at Nebula Rose. If you don't want to do a full set, then you guys can... Um, Sorry about that, my AC just turned on in my house. Not my AC, my heater. So I'm actually gonna wait for that to turn off. There we go. I don't know if that, if you guys could even hear that, but I just wanted to do that really fast because it, it bothers me sometimes, so I don't know. Um, anyway, so Nebula Rose looks really cool. I actually like this shader for a lot of armor sets, but anyways, if you don't want to do a full set of the armor, then you guys can actually take you know pieces from this that you see. Like say you look at the Xeno Silver and then you see like something looks really good and then you just move on from, or you do the, um, legs as something else see as this one's white as well maybe if you guys can find something that's red down here like red on the legs part um and you guys don't like the white paneling then you guys can change that part out but for the majority i'm just doing this so you guys can get a good look at everything on the armor set and get a better feel for how the armor really looks and i mean yeah i mean most of these are pretty nice looking let's go actually to dusk and or dawn and dusk because i mean gotta get you know some good like guy colors and then some girly kind of colors or like girl-ish colors i actually like how it looks on the legs a lot it actually looks really cool the chest piece is my favorite when it gets a shader on it i don't know why i do wish that the mask was a little bit different so you can actually see the um you know the the what is it called the face mask part i wish it was a little bit brighter but um unfortunately it's not it's kind of really darkened out and now we're going to hawk history and i like this one just because it's so much different like it kind of reminds me of the basic set just in fact it is pretty much the basic set because it's still that yellowish, you know, tan color. And then now it's just shiny and it's got orange details. I don't really like this part on the legs because I don't understand why, you know, the, the polish gets this weird purpley orange kind of tone when it's supposed to be like this darker tone. <clears throat> but it does. And I have to clear my throat. It's starting to kind of hurt a little bit. Next, we're going to look at the Soro Shine because I usually like this one. So we're going to actually just take a look at it. And I mean, this one's not bad. There you go. Look at them. Spider-Man arms. Straight up Spider-Man arms. And then you got a white upper and then a white cloak. Maybe I would change out the white cloak for a red cloak, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm, I want to try and do like, if you guys have ever seen Dark Souls, they do like some stuff called Fashion Souls, which I think is hilarious. And they just dress up like in random armor sets, look crazy good or like funny together. And this one actually looks really freaking cool. I like this one a lot. The only thing I don't like is the helmet. It kind of looks like just a pure black helmet. But if I did have to choose, did have to choose, one whole thing like to do my like change my guy into i'd probably do this one because i really like how this one looks and it's much different and um yeah i don't know like it just looks kind of cool now which one should we do let's go ahead and do you know let's get a let's get an uncommon in here just so you guys can see like there are good shaders see this one's like if you guys want a blue you know guardian then there you go you guys can have a blue guardian again see you guys see right here this part does not seem to change too much it just like it, I don't know. It just kind of is weird to me. It doesn't ever really do like that much stuff to it. So like I don't really know how to feel about that one part. Like the transparency on the cloak is pretty good, but that's like you know that's something else. And this video is actually really long. I don't know why I'm making this so long. And there's a train outside if you guys can hear it. So here's Arctic Pearl. And then let's just do one more because why not? Let's do this one because it usually makes everything red. So if you guys like red, then here you go. Here are the Toro fours of you know the Toro fours or whatever they're called for Jordans, and uh, this is the Toro four for this guy, whatever he is, Gensheim Knight, the Gensheim Knight, yeah, the Toro four Gensheim Knight. <laughs> Anyway, that's pretty much it for the video. If you guys did enjoy, please hit that like button. Yes, my HUD is disabled. Don't say anything about that. Or else, guys. Or else. Um, yeah, this video is super long. Sorry about that. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Usually, these videos aren't that long. But, I mean, I don't see anyone complaining, actually. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm just messing with you guys. I'll see you guys all tomorrow for another video.